Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video comes from the forest, you can see. <laughs> This is where we are. We've come to the forest today. Um, the plan was, it's literally been heavy raining, heavy showers all week. So we thought, right, we'll just use that to our advantage and we'll go out and take some rainy photography, get some, I don't know, rainy day shots. And then the day we do come out, it's stopped raining <laughs> and there's no rain to be seen. So we're just gonna go with it. The rain might come back, it, it tends to, be on and off all day so yeah you might see General some rain Irish in video. this video um and we're just going to dander around the forest chris is going to strap on the action cam get some pov sure action on. on the go i've got my camera ready to get the video shots chris is going to take some photos and we're just going to take you along with us so that's what we're going to do let's do it All right, well, literally, as you've seen, we just <laughs> went to the start and it absolutely lashed. So maybe a few texture shots because the light is super harsh. It's not really anywhere near golden or we were hoping it was going to be like cloudy and that that would uh, give us a bit nicer light, but super harsh now. So I'll try some texture shots. This is kind of exactly what we hoped it wouldn't look like. <laughs> We are hoping for rain which came, but now the sky is not as cloudy, so everything just looks super harsh. It's a lot of ferns. Let's see if we can get one of these. Be quite a high ISO. That is a green fern. That's kind of cool. There, one photo. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Shot one. <laughs> Yay! Quite a very minimal shot of a fern. Okay, so Christina just kind of pointed out how cool looking these trees are. Look at the the vines like running the whole way up them. And we've just got one bit of light. This is kind of the shots in really harsh light that I'm gonna try and go for. Super contrasty. But as long as I expose for the bright parts, I actually might brag at these just in case it comes out way too contrasty. This is gonna be like more of a textury sort of shot. Yeah, just a kind of a cool sort of texture shot. Okay, this, it, it's still pretty harsh, but it's not as bad. Christina, do you want to like walk over and stand on that little spot of light with your camera? <laughs> Go for it. I don't know how this is going to look. We kind of, yeah, right in that little patch of light. It might be too harsh. The key is to make sure I do not overexpose Christina's skin and I'll try and make it look sort of glowy looking. Might be tricky, but let's see what we can do. By the way, anyone else have problems with their Fuji X-T30 doing this when you try and lower your ISO? Don't know if you can see that, but I'm lowering it and it's going back up, so. Then I need to end up going into this and look, I'm going back the way and it's still going up. Kind of annoying. So as you can see, look how contrasty Christina is. That is ridiculous. I'm going to go for an F4. And brag it just in case I end up overexposing it myself. I'm going to try to landscape too. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Probably looks cool when I go lower. Yeah, 
He doesn't like you. <laughs> There's currently a dog barking at Christina. Uh, by the way, we are using the Picasso Brave 7. I'll put it on screen. Uh, Casso kindly sent us this um, a few months ago, and this is our first chance we're getting to use it. So hopefully it looks good. All right, so go try a sort of a closer one of Christina because this light's kind of cool. Right, so yeah, right there. Just need to make sure I'm not blowing out her skin. If you look up at, at all, it looks like you're looking into the sun. Christine always sneezes when the, she looks at the sun. These look cool though. These are pretty dramatic looking. Right, you ready? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I like this. Holy sh! That's literally the difference. I don't know if anybody can see that, right? Here's the difference. There's harsh light. That's when the clouds come out. So this is why <laughs> you don't want to be shooting in these type of conditions unless it's cloudy. Bought at this nice little, uh, uh, what? <laughs> this nice little grassy area that's just being, just kind of open and being hit with the light. So I thought it might be cool if I put Christina in it. Again, gonna have to brag at this because uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Christina's kind of more of a silhouette than anything. I'm gonna go really wide with this, it kind of looks cool. Looks like it might be really nice. You're very backlit, but I think that's kind of cool. There's like a big halo around you. Flo floating through the grass sort of vibe. It's the sort of vibe this needs. Like, might try it from this direction just and keep the light out and see what that looks like. I'll go closer this time and then I can expose a bit better. All right, uh, literally just came across this random, quite nice looking tree and the light's just hitting it. And I just think that would probably look nice for a portrait, but I'm also going to take it with nobody there. It's kind of cool. Where was I? Like here? Okay, Christina's going for a few closer up portraits of me. We're just trying to get a shot with the water in it because we've been walking along the river here and we're trying to think of something. So a shot of the boots kind of walking across these rocks is sort of what we're thinking. 
15 has got a Fuji in hand. We might try a few for this shot on the RX-10 though, just because we can get more zoomed in. Oh. Holy sh... All right, so find this little cool bridge, which is probably gonna make for quite a cool photo right along here. So something like this looks pretty cool. And then I'll probably have to get Christina to be right in the center. All right, Christina, you do your thing. Yeah, and go to the center of that bridge. Or like, sort of where the light is, I think. I gotta take it from right around here, I think. Focus on Christina, shot her 100, F4, ISO 200. Kind of cool. I'm gonna go even wider again so I can get more of the sky in. Okay, so going for another little portrait of Christina here. Yeah. And that was pretty much the last shot that we got. Um, you might be wondering why it's just me. Christina is currently not here. And she also took the extension lead for our mic and the little reflector for the top of the camera. So can't use my normal mic and also can't see myself. So hopefully this looks and sounds as nice as it normally does. Uh, because Christina's not here, I decided to put the photo over on the screen, so she kind of is. Um, but yeah, not actually a bad day of taking photos, especially in the harsh light. When we got there and actually started recording, I was like, this is going to be tricky because the light was so harsh. I was hoping it would be cloudy, like we said, and we would get sort of nice diffused light, but that was not the case for most of it. Um, I think my favourite photo, though, is the one, the portrait of Christina, when the little bit of cloud co coverage did come over and diffused the light and I got a nice one. The difference between that and the shot when the clouds just moved past is kind of crazy. It's kind of hard to explain sometimes when you're in good conditions and you say this is the type of conditions you want to shoot in and not the harsh light. It's kind of hard and even for me sometimes when we're doing landscape photos, hard to sort of see the difference but whenever you see it side by side with the clouds coming over it's it's ridiculous the difference so i think that's probably my favorite photo i do actually like the uh, landscape one of christina walking along the path and the actual harsh light just shining in on her is very dramatic sort of has a bit of a sort of a movie scene vibe to it and i cropped it with that sort of pano look to it which i actually quite like so yeah not a bad day of shooting I actually forgot to mention at the start, but it's probably in the title. We were using our Fujifilm X-T30 with the 18 to 55 mm lens for every photo in this video. But these little POV videos are quite fun to do, and we do plan on doing a little more mixed in with the other sort of photo vlogs and stuff that we do. But hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more. We do plan on doing another live stream uh, probably over the next few days, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one. So as we always say, take it easy, don't be a stranger.